Let us solve a numerical on multiplication of matrices. Problem. If P is equal to matrix 5, 2, 2, 1 and Q is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, find PQ. Now let us see if the two matrices P and Q are multiplicable. The condition for multiplying two matrices is two matrices A and B can be multiplied if the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B. The resultant matrix will be of the order of number of rows of A into number of columns of B. That is, if A be a matrix of the order M by N and B be a matrix of the order N by Q, then A and B can be multiplied and their product will be a matrix of order M by Q. Here in this example, matrix B is of the order 2 by 2 and matrix Q is of the order 2 by 2. So they can be multiplied since the number of columns in matrix B is equal to the number of rows in matrix Q, that is 2. Therefore, the order of matrix PQ will be 2 by 2. Now let us understand how to multiply matrix P and matrix Q. Matrices P and Q can be multiplied by using a row column multiplication technique as illustrated below. Multiply the first row first column element of matrix P with the first row first column element of matrix Q. Then multiply the first row second column element of matrix P with the second row first column element of matrix Q. In the matrix PQ you have now got 5 into 1 plus 2 into 0. This will be the first row first column element of matrix PQ. Continue the process to get the remaining elements of matrix PQ. Thus we get PQ is equal to matrix 5 2 2 1 which is of the order 2 by 2. Note that matrix PQ is equal to matrix P. Hence, matrix Q is an identity matrix. Recall the definition of an identity matrix. A square matrix in which every diagonal element is 1 and every non-diagonal element is 0 is called an identity or a unit matrix. And the property of an identity matrix is when a matrix is multiplied by an identity matrix, we get back the same matrix. That is, A into I is equal to A is equal to I into A. Click on the exercise button at the bottom right of your screen and solve a problem.